If I had to list the core components of any successful automotive program, innovative engineering would certainly be an important part. But a competent, innovative design doesn't necessarily translate into huge sales numbers. Take Mazda, for instance. Their cars and trucks have always been technically innovative plus enjoyable to drive. But their sales numbers are tiny compared to competitors like Honda and Toyota. So Mazda honchos are restructuring their entire lineup and they're replacing the stalwart 626 with a new flagship known simply as the Mazda 6. Is this Mazda's lucky number? Could be if Mazda can convince enough drivers that the 2003 Mazda 6 is the tight, sharp, affordable sports sedan that many enthusiast family drivers crave. It certainly looks the part, featuring sharper, more youthful sports sedan lines than the somewhat squishy 626 grocery getter it replaces. With a 105.3 inch wheelbase and 186.8 inch overall length, key dimensions are virtually identical to its predecessor and thus still a tad shorter than the Honda Accord and Toyota Camry. But the 6 is built on a rigid new unibody and rides on a more sophisticated double wishbone front and multi-link rear suspension. Power plants are also upgraded. The top model moves out with an all-aluminum 3-liter dual overhead cam 24-valve V6 with 220 horsepower and 192 pound-feet of torque. Based on parent Ford's very American Durotech, Mazda inscrutably added variable valve timing and swirl-inducing intake runners and is California approved as an ultra-low emission engine. Base power is an all-new 2.3-liter twin-cam 16-valve alloy 4, also with variable valve timing and a balance shaft for 160 smooth horsepower and 155 pound-feet of torque. Both attached to a 5-speed manual gearbox or an automatic with manual shift mode, a 4-speed for the 4-cylinder and a 5-speed for the V6. And our first drive along the hills near Los Angeles, California, showed the front-wheel drive Mazda 6 to be a far more exciting number than its 626 predecessor. Handling is a good deal sharper, too, with fast rack and pinion steering, only two and a half turns lock to lock for true sports sedan turn-ins and reassuring feedback. Grip is plentiful from our S model's VR rated 21550 tires mounted on 17 inch aluminum wheels. The base I model wears smaller 16s. The lightweight front suspension reacts crisply and keeps the 6 well planted on all but the bumpiest roads. It's a much tighter, edgier feel than that of the 626. The V6 spins willingly and pulls the 6 along at a brisk rate, but its peaky character demands a lot of revs to maintain momentum. Still, 0 to 60 in 6.8 seconds is moving along. Ride quality is firm and sporty, never soft, but not harsh either. Cab noise is a little high, however, giving the 6 a slightly less refined atmosphere than some competitors. The Mazda 6 backs up its sporty delivery with more aggressive styling. The nose makes that point, especially with the sport package's ground-hugging fascia augmenting wide headlamp clusters that include clear lens fog lamps. Deeper side sills and rear fascia, plus wraparound taillights and an available deck lid mounted spoiler give the body the youthful zing that the 626 was sorely lacking. The interior of our 6S is also more serious with a cleaner, fresh T design and nice titanium look trim. The front seats are firm and offer good lateral support for spirited driving. Eight-way driver power is standard on our S model, optional on the I. The bright rimmed analog gauges are basic, large and easy to read and use red lighting for nighttime clarity. The center stack is quite tall and very handsome with a digital display well above the triple vents and stereo and climate controls that some of our staff felt were too low to operate easily while driving. Audio choices include a standard six speaker CD system or an optional in-dash CD changer, a mini disc player, or a full-on Bose system with door-mounted amplifiers and a 100-watt subwoofer. Rear seat room is adequate for six-footers, while the firm 6040 bench folds flat for cargo flexibility. A nice extra for an already healthy 15.2 cubic foot trunk. That's bigger than the Honda Accord, but smaller than the Toyota Camry. But we don't see the 6 as a direct competitor to the family style Accord or Camry. It's too sharp, sporty, and young to be relegated to that life alone. 
to live a little with a 6. Expect to pay a $19,050 admission fee for the four-cylinder I model. Move up to our V6S and the tumblers total $21,620. So if you do have to go for the groceries, it's quite competitive with its mid-sized classmates and a whole lot more fun to drive there. The 2003 Mazda 6 is a fresh, spirited sedan, no make that sports sedan, with the engineering and adrenaline that once again can make the brand a standout. It looks like Mazda's lucky number has finally come up. I hope you'll join us next week for more Motor Week, when we'll grab the car keys for three new models from Maybach, Porsche, and Volvo. I'm John Davis. We'll see you then. To learn more about Motor Week, television's original automotive magazine, visit PBS Online at pbs.org or America Online, keyword PBS. To order a video cassette of this program, call 1-800-873-6154. Motor Week has been brought to you by Pep Boys. Boys. We're car, car people. people. Oh, it's over. That's entertainment. That's better than the smell of new tires. I gotta agree. Same time next week? You, you got, got it. it. And bye. What are you looking for? eBay Motors.